moved to New Mexico two weeks after I graduated from nursing school. It was a nice house in the suburbs just outside of Santa Fe. I was 15 minutes late and I could tell my new employer, John, was not happy about it. He was a little odd. This is my mother, Mary. Mom, this is Claire. It was like she was frozen. She couldn't even blink. It was pretty terrifying. Hello, Mary. She can't hear you. Well. Can she move? Not unless you move her. Here are all the instructions for her care. There was this weird coldness to John. Like he had done this a hundred times before. I'll be back next Tuesday. So it's just me for the week? Is that a problem? I was a total stranger to this guy, but he was perfectly fine leaving me alone with his mother for a week. It was my first real nursing job and I just wanted to get everything right. But he just wanted to get out the door. This house, it's got its own energy, you know? I don't really believe in that sort of stuff. That's good. The last nurse, she was a bit unstable. I don't want to have to deal with that again. I had a bad feeling about the whole thing, but what choice did I have? I, it was a job. I had no idea how she got there. How did she roll through the living room with all the furniture there? What's this? I noticed her hand was clenched tight in a fist. Her grip was unbelievable. I couldn't get her hand open. Then suddenly, she just let go. It was a crucifix. Mary, is this your husband? I'm gonna put him right here so you can see him. I had been in there for just a few seconds. I was sure I saw a man's face, just for a split second. <laughs> I was trained as a nurse, so I always tried to find a scientific reason for everything. But I was terrified. I couldn't be alone there for one more day. So I called my friend Tyler. I've worked with patients in vegetative states before. And this woman, I've never seen anything like it. It's like she was trapped inside of her own body. Hey. Hey, put that back. I just want to take a look. He pulls out what looks like a journal. To look at this. Every page was covered with the same word guilty over and over and over again. I'll go get something to clean that up. The vase was in the center of the nightstand, and we were nowhere near it when it flew off the nightstand. I've been working in hospitals for 12 years, and I've never seen an IV stand fall over on its own. Oh! It was a hand. 
I could feel the individual fingers on my back. It was really cold, but Mary hadn't moved. John, it's Claire. If you could give me a call back, it's kind of important. Mary's fine, I just, well, give me a call back. I don't like this. I think we should get out of here right now. I can't leave her. I don't like knowing that you guys are here. I don't care, I'm not leaving. Okay, whatever, I gotta go to work. If anything happens, please call me, okay? I didn't wanna leave her, but she insisted on staying, so I really had no choice. It was getting late, so I checked Mary's heart monitor and IV one last time. I sat in the chair next to Mary's bed to rest my eyes. I woke up, but something wasn't right. I couldn't move. I could feel a needle in my arm. And then I saw Mary. staring back at me. I knew I was dreaming, but I couldn't snap out of it. I felt like I was coming unraveled. I thought I would take a long, hot shower and go right to bed. I thought I saw something through the shower glass. It took everything I had to step out of the shower, but I knew I had to check on Mary. Under the journal was an old article about a woman accused of killing her husband. She was acquitted. The woman in the article was Mary. I started paging through the journal, hoping to find something else that might explain what was happening in that house. In the very back was a journal entry from 1987. It read, the verdict came back. It was not guilty. I'm going to burn in hell. I have to tell someone, but I can't. So I guess I'll just write it here or John will find it after I'm dead. Mary! Mary! He was under the car, screaming my name, asking for a wrench or something. I was so scared I would make another mistake, make him mad at me again. Mad enough to beat me like last time. I got nervous and confused. I couldn't breathe. I just wanted him to stop. I just wanted it all to stop. I ran out of the garage and called the police. still yelling the word guilty when I ran. I was still in my bathrobe and slippers, but I didn't care. I jumped in my car and was about to pull out when I heard this horrible thud. It looked like Mary's dead husband with blood streaming down his head. I stomped on the gas pedal and drove as fast as I could. I got about three blocks from the house before I had the courage to look back. I left my car and never went back to get it. When I spoke to the home healthcare agent, she told me I was the 13th nurse in 15 weeks. 13 nurses.